All right, I didn't think I would have to do this again, but we're doing it anyways. We're doing a a Dragon Ball Legends reveal reaction and B a Dokkan Now reaction. I did this last year for World Wide Down Celebration because for some reason they just thought it was a good idea to do this, and doing it again for some reason this year again. So since it looks like I have time before each one, I'm gonna do Legends first since that one isn't a live premiere. And then we're doing Dokkan. So if you want to watch Dokkan, you can go to the timestamp on screen. But if you're here for Legends or you want to watch both, well, you're, you're in the right place. So I don't know what's happening for Legends. I'm about to find out in three, two, one, and let me see who's the new character. Wait, Trap Beats, hello? Oh! Dead, uh, dead Zone? Garlic Jr! Let's go! Go! <laughs> Please transform. Please transform. <laughs> this is insane! <laughs> Junior, we won. We won. Transforming Carlo Junior. I've seen enough. <laughs> the, the EDM trap beats in the background. Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Tag Oakland Piccolo. Okay, okay. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. But I'm more excited for Carlo Junior, obviously. A wing green card, fuck, okay. That's a blue card. Shrek cover change. Stop time green. If you're still up for a fight, I'm ready anytime. You got guts. I got one pose is nice, okay. Oh, it's a step up banner. It's not an LF, it's a step up, okay. I fuck with that. That's actually pretty good right now. Okay. Now the question, I don't think they do it for normal sparking character. Actually, no, they did it for Ginyu, actually. They did do it for Ginyu. It's a kit out. Um, news. I don't think it is out yet. I don't think the kit's gonna be out yet, no. I, I, I they did it give for Ginyu, but I think that's it. For normal Ultra Rising banner. No, they didn't even do it for Ginyu, okay. Yeah, I know, okay. So, yeah. We don't know what the hell they do yet. If I look online, I doubt I'm gonna see anything, honestly. For one, this is pretty funny. But two, I think Hulk Jr. and Dead Zone is actually a good choice from Legends team because they know around this time is Worldwide Celebration. They're not gonna drop an uber hype unit right now. Because this is literally the best time for Dokkan. So they're going to step back. Release a, a meme unit. Let's be real. Gog Jr. is a meme unit. Uh, a meme character. But it's hype for us because it's a meme. <laughs> On ironically, it's a meme for us. So we're excited. But I think Gog Jr. and Dead Zone is a really good choice. Cut solely because of Dokkan and Worldwide Celebration. It's a good choice. And we get the fact that Dokkan... <laughs> Actually, no. I, no, 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 no. I'm still right. Legends got a playable transforming Garlic Jr. before Dokkan. I know Dokkan has a Garlic Jr., but it's only the transformed one. That Dokkan is a. Basically, it's. Hold on. Garlic Jr. Dokkan. He only is in base for the SSR, and when he Kiyura awakens, he's in the transformed state. This is the first uh, Garlic Jr. that transforms between both Dokkan and Legends. That's playable. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. Again, good choice from Legends to do an Ultra Rising banner right now. But well, basically, everybody's going to Dokkan because obvious reasons. 
and I guess I'll check back in once the Dokkan stream starts. Alright, the stream stood shot. God damn English. And what in the other level of fuck is going on in this chat? You know what? It's fucking YouTube chat. What the hell do I expect from it? Alright, we already know who the units are going to be. So, right now we just have the animations, kits, and the celebration details. That's really it. That's all we're here for right now. And apparently, we Saiyans have no- What the fuck is going on? If we did 20,000 concurrent spirals for all language combined, all players will get 50 dragon stone. Oh, bet. Wait, wait, we already have 20k. Will be held to celebrate Dog, already done. Of Operation <laughs> Really? This campaign. He is a must indeed. If the focus is on this, I actually campaign, like that. Okay. Fergus is no doubt a popular choice. I actually like that. I, think many users will be glad to see him. I don't like the fact they release new characters and then immediately easy them. The event Ooh, nice. Um, but going back to that, I don't like the fact that they release a new character in a story event. Then immediately easy A them because it cuts off that potential for the future for them to be good. They could be good, just make them good right off base as a UR, and then easy A them later to be good to be good. Just it just cuts off the lifespan of the unit so much to immediately easy A a unit that they really can release immediately and make as good as they want at that time. So it's really useless to easy A. Later, immediately. It really is. So I like that they're not easing him now and doing it later in the damn near future. I don't know when that's going to be. Uncontrollable power. Okay, so that's, a new, that's the official new name. Uncontrollable power. Alright. That's a new name of new category. So that's going to be Broly's new skill. But he's a carnival though. Broly's been confirmed to be a carnival unit, so... Does it lead to leader skills? Uncontrollable power and then full power? That'd be interesting. No, maybe uncontrollable power and movie bosses? Hmm? Okay, it's that thing, alright. Okay, there we go, there we go. Hello, Bukake Vidal, that's gross, oh god. We have this character. Fierce flash of burning power. Super Saiyan Goku. Okay. Super Saiyan Gohan Zeus. That looks good. Super Saiyan Trunks. The, the SSR looks heat. This character will change. That TUR art looks crazy, actually. What the hell? That TUR. Let's talk about. Bro's sitting on a throne, actually. <laughs> So doing Goku, Gohan, and Trunks first, right? That's not gonna be, they're not gonna be on a lot of teams. No intro. Animations look good, so they're nothing special, but they look good. They're matching the movie animation pretty well, actually. That looks cool, alright. Okay, remember, that's cool. This is cool.
Okay. I'm, I'm happy with that, I guess. Yeah, that looks good. Looks good. That, that was fun. That, that, that's, that's a fun animation. I like it. I don't struggle. Super Saiyan, Power Wishes, Movie Hero, Connected Hope, Dream Forces, Come Hammer, Just Go. Alright. Wow, those are good teams. Movie Hero, Connected Hope. That, that's a really good leader skill. That's a really good leader skill. Basis attack, lowest attack and defense. Three turn greatly raise. Basic super class allies attack and defense by thirty percent for one turn. Okay, so you have to be slot one. You have to be a slot one for that to be any bit effective for the whole rotation. I don't need you to read it to me. Um, two hundred percent. Rainbow key skill changing. No, physical key skill changing to physical. Okay, two key per key sphere. Key plus one per type key sphere contained. Allies three key fifty percent attack. Three percent damage reduction when see receiving a super attack. That I like that ability. Three percent of defense when receiving enemy attack for every three key. Wait, what? Position of 30% defense, receiving an attack for every three key. Plus additional high. Oh, so every three key spheres you attain, you get 30% defense. And you get 150% attack when you get 12 key or more. Two attacks, which has a high chance of becoming a super attack. When it keys 18 or more. Super effective when 24 key. Movie hero, art struggle, category on a turn. Damage reduction of 50%. And for two turns, our allies. Defense plus 77. So he, whenever he reduces damage received by 15% for normal attacks, and then, which is basically nothing, honestly, that's really nothing. But then he gets an extra 30%, so 45% when he's even a super attack. But he, he gives everybody 77% support as well, though. Honestly, let's just put this guy in slot 2. Really just put him in slot 2 and he'll be fine. The fact that they made the support, movie heal, or art struggle, that's perfectly fine. 77%? Yeah, that, that support's crazy. He might struggle with... Mm, he gets 3 key, plus 2, plus 1, plus he changes key spheres. I think he'll be fine. I think he'd be fine. He, he's not a slot one, but he's a very slot. He's a very solid floater, slot two unit. He's a good sort of option for teams. But if he raises for three turns, yeah, he's a good slot two. You want him in slot two since he raises for three turns on his eighteen key. Because he great lasers for fifty percent. Okay, active skill. Um, Simbi. Which charge counts increases by three, which e each attack received, by two per key sphere obtained by allies, and by one per non key sphere. Okay. With HP 70% or less, or fifth turn from start of battle. Physical key sphere obtained by allies that's fine. That's that's good. That's a fine loop. That's a fine active condition. Three key, 59, guard, and to physical. Key to. Defense is 30% when receiving an attack for every 3 key, and if the key is 74 when receiving an attack, he gets 59% damage reduction. Okay, that's why you want key. Per conditional attack defense for 20% per key sphere obtained in all allies. Obtained plus additional attack for 70 Okay, that's good. That's good. You can, get, you can get cut by key spheres, definitely. Key spheres could be an issue. Key spheres can be an issue if, because it should use specifically int key spheres to physical. So you can definitely get cut. You can get cut by key spheres 1 million percent and not get the 59 percent damage reduction. But he's gonna have guard anyways. I think he'll be fine 
in that state, even if you don't get the 24 key, in which case, again, you can get cucked by key spheres, but he has a lot of key mechanics anyways, so I think he'd be okay. okay. He's not bad. He is a supporting unit that can stand by into a slot, any slot tank to do an insane finishing blow. I like that. Okay. Bully interest animation. Let's go. Okay. Bully interest. Bully interest. Let me see. That was nice though. I just like how Broly just calms down just fucking in an intro scene. That's fucking funny. I actually like that. That's kind of funny. They do that. Like, just have Broly just calm down in an intro scene. Okay. Extreme Tech. Huh. Movie boss is 200%. Okay. That's good. That's good. Movie boss is 200% is good. Really? Oh, wow. 9% damage reduction, 70% damage reduction, and stream class allies. Chance of performing critical hit plus 50% as a second and third attacker. A ton. Based on his attack order, such as damage reduction and raising extreme. And stream class allies, the two key semi. Performing a critical hit, making him viable as a tank when being the first attacker in a turn. This boy is insane. Holy fuck. He is also well equipped in attacking, so let's introduce his active skill. This, this boy is actually fucking busted. Legendary Super Saiyan. He's a top four unit in the game. And he can transform whatever the fuck he wants. They gave him the physical, fucking physical freezer atom skill. Physical freezer. They just gave him fucking this. Also, this solves the identical name problem, allowing you to build a Broly team with other Broly characters. That's fucking W. They listened. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this bully is a. I, even if the transformation sucks for some reason, bully is a top four unit, honestly. Just from that fucking passive alone. Okay, the animations look good so far. Looks good so far. Where do you think you're going? I'm preparing a rocket so we can escape this crater. And a rocket goes the wrong way. Oh, and they have the thing where he kills Pyrrhus. That's fucking amazing. And this is an AOE, right? From the. Yep. Nice. Okay. Animations look good for Bully. I like him. Oh, that KO screen! Oh, that's fucking nice! That's nice! They cooked with Bully. But I think Bully's gonna be infinitely fucking better than fucking Goku, honestly. Infinitely. Let me see. Attack the defense for one turn causes Colossal. He raises attack. Skilly stacks attack. Mega Colossal to all enemy. Okay, good. Basic, but good. Okay, 3 key, 260. 50% damage reduction, and for 3 turns. 
I'm gonna start off turn. For positional 20%, 26. So he has 76% damage reduction for three turns, and it goes down to 50%. Plus additional 150 when performing a super attack. Plus additional key plus one up to five. And just a critical hit plus one up to, up to 50%. With each attack performed. Okay. Launches a digital super attack. I have a high chance of becoming a super attack with the same turn after receiving an attack. So he's a slot one wannabe. 200% before attacking and guards all attacks with the first attacker in the turn. This boy is insane. Launches digital super attack as the second or third attacker in a turn. Positional key plus three. And she's a critical hit plus 50% when there is a pure Saiyan. If the fighter category enemy. They suppose they attack the enemy's action once within the turn when key is 24. By launching this bully is top four. Attack, he can honestly. Multiple enemies at once. With his high defensive capability, he gets guard damage reduction slot. He gets. He, 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 this is. This is like beast on. So I'm getting beast vibes from this guy. After the allies are strengthened, he doesn't have the utility, it looks like. Wait, well, actually, no. What's the active skill? I'm getting some max gut vibes from this guy. He gets a permanent buff. He gets a permanent buff. Okay, that's not insane. But it is a multiplicative buff, so it's gonna be a lot stacked. It's multiplicative, it's a big deal. Dude, this bully is top two. I think this bully is top two. You know, bully's banner is gonna be actually no. This is gonna be the tech bully, the original tech bully. Huh? Oh. Pity system. A pity system! I could have used this for fucking Beast Gohan! For 500 though? That's stupid though. Total, you will be able to use them all as either coin types and exchange them. That's stupid as 500, because that's what? How many dragon stones? That's a nice pity system, but it's fucking stupid. That's 500. That's like, what? Hold on. 10. 50. That's 2,500 dragon stones. That's 2,500 dragon stones. That's stupid. That's a lot of fucking dragon stones. Tech bully. OG tech bully. No, sh no shot they don't. There's no shot it's not tech bully. OG. You know what? That's also a good second option. With the Japanese version. And now it's unified. Global is not happy right now, honestly, with how they just got milked for Dragon Stones as Fetal Plays. Fucking, we got Anniversary, then Tech UI, and then we have some math into this. We got fucking milked. We got fucking milked. We literally, I literally have a 30 stones on a global account. That's a fucking dream. I don't think I can even summon, do a summon video, because literally. Okay, so Super Saiyan Trio, Vegito, that's Fat, that's Fit Boo, I don't know who, that's, okay, that's a banner unit, Dragon Fist. Okay, wait, hold on. 
I want to go back to that in a second. Tia. They don't do fake outs here. Yeah, they don't do fake outs. Um, okay. So Broly's is okay. And then yours is off. I think it's worse. I mean, it could be depending on if the banning unit's good or not. But, yeah. At least Super Saiyan Trio and Gohan's winnable. You, uh, you could get some help because the EZA came out. You could get some help for your teams. But then you're not, you, nobody's running him anymore. But I want to go back to fucking Ted Bully. Hold on. I think this Bully's number two, if not number one, best unit, honestly. So he can't attack, but he's guarding. On his first turn, he has 90% damage reduction. For, if he's the first attacker in the turn. He has base 7% damage reduction. There's a goddamn truck outside. Are you fucking... He has 90% damage reduction. Or base 70% in slot 2 and 3. He has guard. Just existing. So he can slot 1 if he need to still. He gives extreme class allies. 50% critical rate. And... 60% attack and defense and 2 key. Uh, this bully is not going to take damage. This is literally Beast Gohan level of defense. What the fuck is a such bar? Like, it's not the same thing as Beast Gohan because he doesn't have this fucking active skill. Uh, what is it? This active skill here? He doesn't have this. To where he basically protects the whole rotation. But fuck, by all means, in base, he is enabling it. He's a tanking unit with... Basically, untouchable defense. Guard, support, damage reduction. He has 260% defense, guard, 10% damage reduction, or 9% if it's turn 1, slot 1. Like, hold on. Let me see here. Also, let me go to this. So, movie bosses. B -b -b -um, hold on. Um, what do I need to look for here? Miraculous Awakening. Wally. Movie bosses. That's a good 200%. Because you're easing. Um, let me see. There's you. Tech Boy is definitely going to easy. Day. There's no shot they don't. So, that's one, two, three. Plus the new boy, so that's gonna be four. Uh, let me see who else. Angel Gold of Freezer, you can still run, kind of, so that's five. Do you need movie bosses or artificial or super bosses? Movie bosses, super bosses, artificial platforms. So, Max, that's six. Who else can you run outside of, um, this guy? Mmm... Bully Trio? No, you need Key Spheres, and nobody on the team, that team creates Key Spheres. Kudagon, you can probably get away with, still. She's just dodge or die. But it, it's not bad. With how much help they're gonna get, Movie Bosses will be a fine 200% leader skill. And then fucking his transform state is even more insane. He gets guard, 50% damage reduction, actually 76% for the first 3 turns actually. 150 plus 260 plus critical rate plus extra defense before attacking. Plus additional key and critical rate against basically most of the enemies within the game. Basically, if you're in the fucking blue zone, you're having this active. This is gonna be active if you're in blue zone. Let me go. Let me go back to Super Saiyan Trio over here. All right, this is the Super Saiyan new tree. This is the, this is this guy's teams. So at least another two hundred percent. So you got the Gammas, Gogeta, Super Saiyan Trio. You might easy A honestly. There's a good chance you might easy A during the celebration. Um, you're still in a bowl, Orange Piccolo, um, who else? God of Goku you can get away with, still. 
Honestly, it tumbles it. Uh, you could easy A as well, honestly. You, actually, no, you're definitely easy A. You'll be insane easy A, actually. Hold on. They they stack. 200%. All the good support. You can triple super within a turn. Yeah, your easy A would be really good. Um, But honestly, these guys' team isn't looking that good in terms of 200%. But they do have access to Super Saiyans. And where is it? Um bum, bum, bum. Power Wishes. So they'll have access to this wishes of Super Saiyan. They have access to Vegeta. They have access to who else? The new bully, if you want to run them on that team. Physical Gogeta definitely is an option you can run on their team. I'm not sure who else actually. The Super Saiyan. God Goku you could run. But that's all I'm seeing over here. And then... Power of Wishes is a big deal. Honestly. Because there's Orange Piccolo. There's a recent... A lot that came out. I think you need Majin Buu Saga though. Yeah, you do. So I'm probably not gonna run. Texas Master, you can give it with maybe. Bulma is a big deal. You can get away with maybe in some occasional circumstances. Tech Gohan. I'm honestly a bit concerned. Okay, what about all out struggle? Hold on. Um, bum, 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 bum. We got you, gammas. Vegeta is a big deal, actually. Okay. Honestly, I'm a bit scared for this guy's teams because he got you got evolution blue Vegeta. You got the blue bros. You got. Orange Piccolo, the eight years, in which case you'll probably only be running this guy because of the revival. Because they they will not they will not last long enough of just raw defense. Orange Piccolo, Super Saiyan Trio, but you need pure Super Saiyan team, so that's probably not going to work. You got Bulma, which is big. You got some of Trunks, and eh, not really too much. Boy Trio, Trio. Not actually, you could run Bully Trio and Bulma as a rotation on this team. That could work. That could definitely work as a rotation. So, yeah, nah, never mind. Bully can definitely work on this team. Tech Gohan, God Goku, Tech Vegeta, this Tech Bully, this upcoming EZA Int Bully, and then AGL Bully. And that's basically the team. That's basically your options for running this team. There's not a lot of... Oh yeah, and Carnival Goku. Not Carnival. Um, Carnival Gohan. And Kefla right here. And you, actually. You're not bad either. You're decent support. You got STR Super Physical Gogeta. I'm not a fan. I'm not a person not a fan of this team, honestly. It's not a whole lot of slot one units. You got Tech Vegeta for slot one. Orange Piccolo, but you need Bond Master with Disciple. You got this upcoming Tech Bully. You got you, you got Imp Bully, but you need to stack first. You need to stack first, so you're not gonna be slot one. You're slot two. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not too big of a fan of this team, honestly. The best thing you can do with this team, honestly, Is Bulma plus this guy as rotation? And then the second rotation is gonna be these guys. And then Tech Vegeta, I think, is gonna be the play. And then you just build your team around that. And then Bully Team is just fucking cooked. It's. What the fuck is Bully's categories again? Hold on. Bully is just fucking insane. I think he's top two or one. Ruby Bosses, Pure Stand, Full Power, Chaka Goku, Amy Indeed, Pulling Rage, Plan for Destruction, Legendary Existence, Controllable Power, Transformation Boost, Beyond Super Saiyan. He's good on. He may not provide. He won't provide the, the, the English. 
he's not going to give support to most people on some of these teams because they're not team class. But he, he's still guarding and damage reduction. So, fucking hell. And guess what? You can still just transform immediately and go into Super Saiyan. So, fucking hell. Ruby Boss will work. Pure Saiyans will work. I just don't... Who leaks Pure Saiyans again? Shit. Is it? No. God Goku. Okay. That could work. Maybe. Actually, no. Because, no. Um. Full power. No, no one leads that. Exploding rage. No one leads. Human Ds. No one leads. Planetary destruction. Tallest buff. Okay. Legendary existence. Um. No one leads that team. Transformation. This is the big deal, in my opinion. This is the big deal. It's this team and this team. That's the biggest deal, in my opinion. Beyond Super Saiyan and Transformation Boost. Imagining if I pull uh, the new Tech Bully, I'm imagining the team I would go with would be uh, fucking you in the leader slot. Um, how does this fucking work? And then imagine I'm gonna grab the OG Bully. Just for the sake of, um, as a placeholder, imagine this is the new one right here. Uh, let me see. There's you. Who's gonna easier? So you'll be on the team. So these two are already because you can slot one both of these guys and then just fucking. Actually no, because you'd be running this. So it'll be boom boom and then, you. Can float around, probably. Actually, no, I probably want to float the transformation bullies, honestly. Wait, actually, is this bully on Miraculous Awakening? Ruby Ball, I feel saying full power. No, he's not, okay. I'm about to say that I've been stupid. Um, Transformation boost. Let me see here. I don't think there's anyone on transformation boost I would want to use. You could definitely get, you can put Jiren here. That could work as a unit. On his team. You could run Gogeta. Just so you get, you get the uh, save, honestly. There's Buhan you could run on here. Exchange Boo. But actually, I don't know if you want to run Exchange Boo, honestly. Because he takes a minute to build up. And this pop, this team is probably going to steamroll a bunch of shit, honestly. So no, probably not. So that's one, two, three, four, five. I would need one more. You can probably do Physical Rosé. Honestly, right here. Um, where is he? Him. He'd be a good fit here. There's obviously you right here. Yeah, this is, um... This is a top tier team, in my opinion. Definitely. You could also just run you instead. Somewhere. And then it's super boss and then full power. So no, not full, nothing in full power. Actually, you can run Vegeta. Actually, you can run Evolution Blue Vegeta if he's right here. Yep, Evolution Blue Vegeta. You can run. You could run fucking yeah, boys, boys. Like, you can do Tech Bully, this Bully, you can do Buhan, Tech Bully, actually no, yeah, maybe. But I'm thinking just double Bully rotation here, and then the other Bully would link with this Jiren, then you transform with Jiren, then you just transform with, yeah, that's fucking cooked. This team's insane. Or would be, should be, as long as it's going to shout to easy A's, and then Bully is just a top two unit in the game, if not top one. Why are there so many fucking trucks going around? But Bully is a top two, if not top one unit. The only argument I would have for Beast remaining top one is his still ridiculous active skill. But this Bully is doing the same thing in a different form, in which he's supporting the entire ass team. 
And if he needs to, just fucking go to town on motherfuckers with this. Anytime you want. Anytime. Okay, a garbage truck keeps running around in my house right now, so I'm just fucking end it now while I have a chance. Boys, top two, if not top one. Insane support, insane damage. He basically doesn't die. Power creep is going fucking sicko mode right now. Um, and wish me luck for my summons, because I only have like 200 stones for Bully on JP, and I only have 30 for Global. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm just be real with you. I'm cooked. But please wish me luck. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good shit. Check out my other videos. Until next time, I'm gonna do something else. Oh my god, what the fuck is this bully?